Ooh. I'll wait for a few more people to um to tune in or whatever. I got something to tell y'all real quick, man, about this whole vlog series thing that I'm <clears throat> I'm finna do. So I'm explaining to y'all exactly what's actually going on, like with the whole the whole vlog series thing, like the road to 350. So I was trying to wait for a couple more people to tune in, but y'all know how I do. I just I just go ahead and and go with the flow in Jesus' name. So what's good, y'all? I know it's been a minute since I didn't actually been in. Uh, I don't went live and all that good stuff, man. I know I know it's been a good while. So I'm explaining to y'all because I just posted something on my Facebook page about. Um, a new vlog series that the Holy Spirit gave me called The Road to 350. So, um, this is something God gave me, like, he showed me a while back that I was inspiring when it came to losing weight. When, you know, a few people was looking, had a lot of people looking like they were proud, the whole nine yards, blase, blase. You know what I'm saying? So, he told me, he was like, I need you to, I need you to do this series. And it was so random, I was just like, God, you want me to, you, he said, yeah, because he said, I've been coaching you on how to be healthy naturally and spiritually, naturally healthy and spiritually. So I said, like, okay, all right. He said, you know how to do it. He said, but I just need you to, to get back on. He said, but this time he said, you're going to do a vlog series behind it. He said, I want people to actually see your progress. He said, because you have something that'll help somebody else. He said, whether you know it or not, a lot of people is watching you. A lot of people is looking. Even if they don't like your post, even if they don't share nothing, even if they don't comment, they don't do none of that. It's a lot of people that's watching, and you inspire a lot of people, even if they don't. A lot of people, sometimes they they, they scared to either like, post, share, or they really don't get on social media like that. So they just kind of watch and observe and all that good stuff. So you never know who looking. So... This new vlog series that I'm about to start, and you're gonna have to go to my um, you got to subscribe to my YouTube in order to really see my progress, in order to really see what's going on, in order to really see me working out. Like the times where I get frustrated if I can't have some sweets or something that I really want, all that good stuff. Like y'all gonna see the good, the bad, the ugly, uh, the terrible, all that good stuff. But one thing I know for a fact, you and you won't see me sin, you won't see me cuss, you won't see me do none, do none of that. The Bible says, "Be angry, but sin not." And so, um, I'm starting this series, man, um, that could possibly help somebody else. So, right now, I don't know my current weight. I don't know my current weight at the moment, but um, I do know that it's roughly around 400. So, I know that much. It's roughly around 400. So, um. Y'all hear Siri? I'm not. I'm not even talking to Siri. She's trying to talk on my watch. I'm not. I'm not even talking to her. But yeah, man. So y'all gonna get to see like me actually walking, me working out, um, me having to put down the snacks, me having to say no to a burger, to a sandwich, to, to bread, chips, the whole nine yards. Y'all gonna y'all gonna be able to see all of that. And I wanted to be able to help somebody else that might need some inspiration when it comes to to losing weight, to actually getting up and saying no to the junk food, to to just sitting around and doing nothing all the time, to you know, to actually just get up and do, to motivate somebody to, to work out, to want to walk, all that good stuff, man. Like, you never know what somebody's dealing with mentally because of how they feel about themselves. So sometimes you just need to see somebody else do it that's, that's around your size or that's, you know what I'm saying? That's dealing with the same issues. You need to, sometimes you need, you just need to see them do it, and then when you get up, when you see them get up and do it, it'll help motivate you get up and do it. So I know what God is taking me when it comes to my ministry. Um, you know the the traveling that I'm doing now, which is definitely a blessing. Um, the more the more videos I've been making, the more music I've been making, even to me finna get ready to get up. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully one day soon and start preaching again. I'm even preaching through my music, but. You know, behind the pulpit, it's a whole different story. Behind it, when, when the beast stopped, then what? You know what I'm saying? So you got to have Jesus hitting in your heart. And after the music is done, I know who I was called to be. I know what I was called to do. So I want to make sure that I'm healthy, healthy naturally and spiritually. 
when it comes to all those aspects, I don't ever want to leave any stone unturned to where God said, now nah, you wasn't ready for this season because you didn't do what I told you to do during this season. I want God to say, okay, now you ready because you stepped out on faith. You got up. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes it's just to get up, just to get up and walk, just to get up and move, just to like hit that 30 minutes every day, just to stand up. Sometimes it's a struggle. Like, you don't know what somebody's really dealing with. A lot of people not going to say nothing. They're really not because it's just like, dang, I don't want to feel embarrassed or nothing like that. Well, y'all know me. I ain't too much embarrassed about nothing. So we know I'm big. I've been I've been big since I was in the womb. I was I was a little fatty all in the womb, my mama womb, you know what I'm saying? So I've been big. I'm not even worried about that. My thing is at this point now, it's just like, okay, taking a stop and say, hey, wait a minute. We got to do something about this because... It's like you have somewhere to go. You have a family. Like you got loved ones that actually care about you, that, that actually want to, you know what I'm saying, see you make it, see you prosper. And if you don't put forth the effort to, to, to make that happen, then you killing yourself. So this is for anybody that needs the encouragement, that needs to be, you know what I'm saying, like, hey, you know what I'm saying, if Chosen can do it, then I know I can do it. So that 30 minutes a day, that hour a day, shoot, 10 minutes a day, it'll help. Just standing up or just walking. Sometimes, like just walking back and forth to the kitchen in the, in the comfort of your own home. Just walking around your house. It's exercise. You know what I'm saying? Put on some, you know, some shoes real quick. Put on some, um, some sweats real fast. You know what I'm saying? Anything. Just to get up, walk around your house for 10 minutes. Sometimes start, if you can do five minutes, do five minutes. Because some people can't even do two. I remember one point in time in my life where I couldn't even stand up two minutes. Two, I was 613 pounds, and I could not stand up more than two minutes. I couldn't walk more than two minutes. But look at me now, like moving around, being able to do more, and being able to travel, to be able to fit clothes. And I went from a size 10X shirt to a 5X. Shoot, I just fit, I was in a 4X the other day. So you can't tell me what God can and what he won't do. God can do anything. So at this point now, it's just like, okay, God is saying, I'm trying to take you further in life. So it's like, I need you to get up. I need you to do some moving around. Say, because where you're trying to go, you're going to need to be a lot healthier, healthier naturally and spiritually. So I got my notepad over there. Wayne got me a new notepad. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to wifey. Love you, baby. Brittany, love you, baby. But got me a new notepad so I can get up. You know what I'm saying? And matter of fact, I make that sacrifice at 530 in the morning to get up and say, God, you know what? This is going to be your time. Because sometimes God just needs that sacrifice. So I don't mind taking the time out to sacrifice to give it to God so he can make happen what I need him, for him to make happen on my behalf. So that little sacrifice, that getting up, that few minutes, it helps. Because one day, I, I remember I went from two minutes to five minutes, five minutes to ten minutes. And before I knew it, I'm standing up 30 minutes to an hour at a time. So I, say, praise God. He just said, I dropped, I dropped, he dropped 40 pounds and now he's under 300. See, that's a blessing right there in itself, man. Y'all y'all, y'all understand, like, weight is such a burden. Whether it's spiritual weight or it's natural weight, they are both a burden. And it's a heavy burden to, trust me, you, you talking to somebody that's been big their whole life. I done dealt with knee problems, back problems, uh, strokes, heart attacks. I'm t I done died twice. So I should have been dead and gone. But when God got a purpose in your life, you, you have to get up and make some shape so that purpose can be fulfilled in Jesus' name. So with this whole vlog series, man, I, I hope to be able to help somebody that just need to be encouraged, that just need to say, you know what, man, I got to do something different with my life. Shoot, I got a, I got a Gucci belt inside, the, not bragging or boasting or nothing like that because God didn't. I remember when I couldn't afford to have a Gucci belt or nothing like that. I mean, so it's not boasting. I'll praise the God for me to be able to get what I can get. But I got a Gucci belt in my closet right now that I can't even wear. And I want to wear it so bad with some of my nice jeans, the whole nine yards. And God is saying, well, I gave it to you. So what you going to do about trying to fit that belt around your waist? So my thing is now at this point, it's like, God, I know I got to do something now. I know you have greater for me. But what am I going to do on my end to make, to make this greater happen? Faith without works is dead. You can have all the faith in the world. But if you're not put forth no effort into making something happen, you're just sitting on a dream and you're sleeping on yourself. So the one thing I said I would not do 
this year. And mind you, the music is going. The videos is going. Praise be to God. Thank you to everybody that's been streaming. Um, add my songs to the playlist. The whole nine yards. All glory to God. But when God is trying to take you further, you have so much more you have to do. It's so much more that's required of you. So I know what's required of me in this season. I know why I got to go now in this next season. So now it's time for me to get up, continue to follow God, and put forth the effort to making this, this goal happen. So my road to 350 is going to be a lot of work. And it's going to be a 10-part vlog series. It's going to be like episodes. Or you know how you watch Love and Hip Hop or something like that. Or like, you know, season. When y'all you, you, watch Netflix, the whole nine yards, Hulu, the whole nine yards. So I'm going to have a 10-part series on my road to 350. By the time I get to 350, by the time I get to the series 10, uh, episode 10, I want to make sure that I done met that goal or done better in Jesus' name. So I want y'all to follow me. I hope this may help somebody. I hope this can encourage somebody. I hope somebody see this and be like, you know what? If bro can do it, I know I can do it. I watched him his, in every series he posted, every vlog series he posted to where he was showing progress. He was showing where he got mad because he couldn't have that cookie and some milk. He couldn't sit up at 12 at night, midnight, snacking and watching TV. It don't work like that. Or eat a big plate and then lay back down. No, sir. You can't do that and expect progress to happen. It don't do nothing but slow you down. God done brought me from heart attacks. He done brought me from strokes. He done brought me from uh, diabetes. I don't have diabetes no more. But why would I put myself back in that position to obtain diabetes when God delivered me from that? Because it could be seven times worse. That's a burden God delivered me from. Having weight issues, having to go back and not being able to find clothes to wear. So now I can go inside a stove and I can buy something off the rack. That's my size. God is, when I tell you God has, has definitely blessed me in a major way, I, I don't complain about nothing. I don't, I don't argue with God when he tell me to do stuff. When God say move, he say jump, I be like, God, how high? Point blank, period. So with this series right here, I pray to God that this can encourage somebody. I pray to God that this can get somebody up, motivated to move, to do better, to think better, to live better. When you healthy naturally, you'll be healthy spiritually. First natural, then spiritual. That's how that works. You'll see the progress. Because I'm telling y'all right now, I'm coming, I'm coming for, I'm going to be like this. You know what I'm saying? Not this big. Not all the way out here where I ain't got no neck again. But I want to be like, you know what I'm saying? Summertime, body, you know, I, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's all, yeah. All praise be to God. I can sit here like this. You know, I want to flex to be able to mm, kiss my bicep mm, just a little bit if I want to. You know what I'm saying? Because I worked that thing out in Jesus' name. And only in God will this stuff happen, man. So I'm telling y'all now, I want y'all to stay tuned. I want y'all to pay attention. In about a week or so, I give y'all the date and I'll post it. I'm going to be posting my first episode in Jesus' name. Um, Got new videos dropping. So even with the videos that I'll be dropping, y'all going to see the progress. Like even this shirt. This shirt is a 5X. I just bought this shirt. Y'all see this? It was tight at first. Now it's hanging loose on my neck. When I tell, listen to me. When I tell y'all I'm not playing, I am not playing. God got somewhere he's trying to take me. And I want to make sure I'm, my body is preparing naturally and spiritually to go wherever he's trying to take me. I can't travel like a, matter of fact, I take this. I can travel, but I can't travel how God want me to if I don't get healthy enough to do so. So, there are some places that God is trying to take me. There are some places that God is trying to take you. But you got to get in preparation to do something. Nope, I'm not going to go there with y'all because I'm going to get into my message. I'm not going to go to preaching to y'all right now. I don't want to get into my message. But there are some places that God is trying to take you. And you have to get in preparation to do so. If you don't prepare yourself right now, when that season comes, you won't be ready. And you'll be unhealthy. You'll be unfit for that season. And then it'll pass you on by and you'll miss it. And sometimes that season don't ever come back around. Or when it do come back, come back around, it takes forever. So listen to me, y'all. I want y'all to stay tuned in. Make sure y'all go to YouTube. Chosen Be Nice. Subscribe to my YouTube page. And y'all be able to see, like, you know, the day-to-day -day process. Matter of fact, let me get a towel. Let me, let me get my little white towel or whatever. So that way y'all don't see my, my face all glistening and stuff. Looking like a glazed donut all on camera. There we go. How, okay, that's better. All right, that's good. Okay, so I told you I'm not embarrassed. I ain't ashamed. I'm fat. I'm sitting here sweating. It's hot in, it's hot in here. So I'm sweating a little bit. I ain't in bit. Say, 
We already getting out to a good start. That's a little sweat right there. And I just been talking and moving my arms around. See, oh, Holy Spirit, thank you. If you can't stand for a long time, go to YouTube. They have YouTube exercises that you can do sitting down. I watch my I watch my bro do it. Reason I said because y'all y'all know my brother, he got the he got the, the the foot, the leg thing going on. So he showed me something that'll help me. And then in turn, I can turn around and help y'all. They have YouTube sit down exercises that you can do to start off, but don't get comfortable there. So Get that, work that thing out, man. We got somewhere we're trying to be. 2021, people saying this is going to be a different year, this day year. The whole nine yards to, to, for a change, to do something different. Well, get up and make something happen. Don't sit on it and just keep talking about it, keep posting about it. Actually get up and do something. Make some progress. Get Move around. Let God do, work this thing out in your life. Get closer to God if that's what you was trying to do. Get healthier. Put the snacks down. Put the sweets down. I promise you, they have healthier snacks. Trust me, I know. It's more expensive, but it's worth it. You'll live a lot longer. You don't have to worry about strokes, heart attacks, diseases, none of that diabetes, none of that extra stuff. High blood pressure, that's one thing I'm trying to get rid of, and I'm going to get rid of in Jesus' name, is that high blood pressure. I'm telling y'all this is going to leave. God done delivered me from everything else, so that high blood pressure got to go too in Jesus' name. You know how we're going to do that? Get up and move around. Get up and work. So, if you have any questions, if you want to know anything, if you, you want to know what my secret is, what I've been doing to make sure I keep... That extra, that extra, you know what I'm saying, big person of, because I lost about, about three, four people. I, I, to God be the glory. You know what I'm saying? And a few shoe sizes. So God is good. If you want to know what I've been doing, hit me up, man. Inbox me. I don't mind answering questions. I don't mind helping somebody else out. If you feel like you, you need a workout, buddy, let's do it. You know what I'm saying? Let's, let's do this thing together. I don't mind. It can be in secret. So if you want to inbox me, say, hey, bro, can we do something? So we sure can. Right now, I don't have a nine to five. God has been blessing me. My nine to five is ministry, point blank, period, and my family. That's 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 how it works. And God has been blessing me through that. So you need some help. I can set that to the side for a second and make sure we get that thing got together. The Bible says that we'll help us to one another. So if I can help somebody else out and help them on their journey while they're helping me out and we helping each other, let's do it, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, man, just in, in, inbox me, man, and let's let's talk it out. Let's let's work it out in Jesus' name. So, go subscribe to my YouTube page, my YouTube channel, uh, Chosen Be Nice, and man, y'all stay tuned, man. God got some some crazy things in the works. New video drop coming soon. So make sure I shot that in Alabama, by the way. Shout out to my kid folk. You know what I'm saying? They helped me out with that. Love y'all, man. So y'all stay tuned. If this inspired you in any kind of way, or you feel like this may help somebody else, this live video might help somebody else, then please share it. By all means, share this video because I want to make sure that everybody gets the play-by-play. -play. Like, nobody gets left behind. We're not doing that. If you, if, now, it'd be different if you decide, you know what I'm saying, prior to tell you, instead of talking to you, say, I'm not going to do nothing because he says so, he ain't nobody. Cool to find it with me, but when I'm doing this and waving and moving around and running around and you still sitting on the couch in the glazed donut with some chips, some cookies, case pies, the whole nine yards, and then you just finish off a triple meat burger with, with, with 10 slabs of bacon, some ribs, the whole nine yards, and I'm, I'm looking good for the summertime and I'm doing this and me and wifey on the beach looking sexy as ever, and you can't blame nobody but yourself, so... God bless y'all, man. I love y'all. Continue to support. Continue to follow me in Jesus' name. And watch what God do this year. Wipe that sweat off. It's time to go. Gang! Okay.